Hey guys, it's Sage Emochi, or whatever you want to call me, and today I'm going to be doing an oil challenge thing where I'm redrawing an old drawing that I did, and here it is. It's, um, not the best, but I think it will be very fun to redraw because this is a very plain outfit, a very plain pose. So I'm just going to try and spruce it up a bit. Um, so maybe it'll go well, maybe it won't, I don't know. But I'm hoping that it does go well. So I guess we should probably just get right started. So I'm going to go into voiceover and it's going to be um, a little bit sped up. So it will be short and not hours long yet. And so the commentating is better-ish. <laughs> um, my commentating is never the best. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. Let's get moving. Three, two, one. Alright, so I'm just starting out here with my Canson watercolor paper, and I'm going to cut this down with just this cut thing. I don't know exactly what the name for it is, but uh, I don't know, I was just using it. Um, the reason I cut it down is because I work better with smaller uh, paper, and also I do it so I don't have to... Uh, use so much paper every time I do a drawing. Also, right now, I'm going in with my 4B Stadler pencil in Moyes Lumograph Black. I'll list all of the material in the description. I won't give you links, but I will give you the names, so it'll be easier for you to just search. And I am also using my mono eraser to go with that. Uh, some of these names of products are very hard to pronounce. Um, and so what I'm doing right now is just sketching out the basic proportions of the drawing. And I decided to do a sitting pose. And why I kind of agonized over this was because I was watching YouTube while doing this. Meaning, if I wanted to use a reference, then I needed to go get my laptop so I could... Uh, do both at the same time but the thing is is I really didn't feel like going to get my laptop so this was actually done without a reference which um I think it's okay to not use references but if you're going for a kind of like super refined look I would actually recommend to use references for any type of finish drawing if you don't it's fine but I always like to use references just because they make my drawings look a lot better. Um, I know a lot of people think that references are like copying, and I get feeling like that. I used to feel like that, um, but personally, I think, I mean, I look back at like old times. I mean, what did they do when they did paintings? Like the Mona Lisa. It was of Mona Lisa, <laughs> so, like, it's just that kind of setup, but, you know, it doesn't really matter, I mean, I think it's fine if you don't, but personally, I prefer to use, uh, references, but this time around, I didn't, and I still think it turned out decent, um, but, you know, um, here I am, uh, working on her clothes, uh, I actually later on added a vest to her original outfit, but I also changed her shorts, her gray shorts, into jeans, because I thought that that would work a lot better with the position she was in, because I find it very hard to make positions like that with shorts I don't know why they always end up looking like they go past the knee I don't know <laughs> yeah and now I think in a second I'm gonna be going in with my inking if I stop looking so 
confused. Oh, this is where I make the vest, actually. I was very concerned on whether or not to do a vest or not. Because sometimes I think that vests over shirts look stupid. But this time around, I think it actually looked pretty good. And I think it turned out well. Uh, now I'm going in with my Pentel Hoi Tip Brush Pen. And I love this pen. I can't recommend it enough. It's in black. Um, but I don't know. They might have other colors. I think so. But this makes using brush pens ten times easier. I don't know what it is, but it makes everything so much easier. And I love it so much. And I decided to use it because um, my previous drawing that I did... I'm honestly not sure on the year, but I'm going to say 2018. It had the year on it, but it got covered up. So I'm going to say 2018. Uh, but yeah, it seemed that I used a brush pen on that one, so I decided to use my high tip brush pen. So it would mimic the same style without me having to go through the pain of using a real brush pen life hack um and at some point i realized that the original photo has glasses and mine didn't have glasses i don't i don't know we'll we'll get there in a second <laughs> but um i also uh was very hesitant about this sitting pose, but I do think that it was the right decision. Uh, so, I do think, well, I can't commentate for the life of me, I do think <laughs> uh, that this final piece actually turned out pretty well. Um, it's not done yet, but I think it turned out kind of well. <laughs> Um, so here I am, uh, defining the plaid with my ink in. I don't know how to commentate. I, I've been over this before. I just don't know how. And this is the moment that I realized that there were no glasses. So I took out my pencil again and I sketched them out. I don't know why my hair keeps popping in the frame on my head. <laughs> no wonder my neck hurts all the time. I find it very hard to ink anything without a sketch, so that's why I took out the pencil. I did consider just putting on the glasses without a sketch, but that was a little terrifying. So here I am erasing my sketch, and after I'm done, I'm going to take out my watercolors, as you'll see in a second. Yes, these are my pretty excellent watercolor set, and it's the 36 set, and I got this for Christmas, and it works so well, I can't recommend them enough. I'm the kind of person that has always just used the watercolor sets that you get for, like, super cheap in, like, Michaels or like Target <laughs> um, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with those but these work so much better and I've never had a watercolor set like this and I'm also going in with my Ohuhu watercolor brush uh, well not watercolor brush it's a water brush basically you fill it with water and it comes out through the brush tip and it makes watercoloring a lot easier um, just use like a paper towel, or toilet paper or whatever, and you can clean off your brush in between, uh, colors, and you should work out fine. I'm following the same basic color scheme, so her hair is blue, uh, her eyebrows are blue, uh, all the colors are pretty much the same, just some of them are a little lighter and maybe a little bit more vibrant, just because I couldn't capture the same color or else I probably would have, because I honestly don't mind the other, uh, 
Johnny's color scheme that much at all, actually. I think that the blue hair and the yellow go very well together. Uh, here I am trying to doiken the blue up. Also, um, I don't know when it happened, but the lighting changed for some reason. It has, like, this blue tint. I recorded this at nighttime, which maybe wasn't the best idea, but I did it anyways. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's just how it happens. But here I go in with the yellow. This turned out a lot more bright and vibrant than the original one, which I guess isn't the most terrible thing, but it wasn't exactly what I was going for. I don't know why, but it kind of gives me like scuba diver, vi scuba diver vibes. I don't know why. Is that, like, a reason why I think that? Oh, it looks like Dory from Finding Nemo. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I didn't feel like making any type of specific plaid, so I kind of just put in different shades of black and gray in the little squares that I had created, and I think that gave off the right impression <laughs> anyways. Um, and I don't know what I do next, to be honest. I think I was very hesitant about choosing, um, my color, uh, for the pants because I felt like the, there was no necessarily a gray, and I was too scared that it would be straight up black, so I decided to just make them blue because everyone wears blue jeans anyway. They're either blue jeans or black jeans. And I prefer blue jeans, so I drew blue jeans. Um, at least they're like a desaturated blue. I think I can get away with it, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I also went ahead next. I think I colored... Uh, the skin tone, yes. I actually really enjoy this, like, color that I chose for the skin tone. I think it, uh, actually is very nice for a skin tone. The only problem with this watercolor set is I don't think other than browns, I don't think there's, like, a nice skin tone, really. Um, maybe there is. I just haven't found it yet, but I think... It's still fine. <laughs> like, like, for how good of a quality the watercolor is, in my opinion, anyways, um, I think that it's fine that there's not a specific skin tone color. Yeah, and uh, now here I am doing the finishing touches. Uh, the next thing I needed to do was just color in the shoes, which I decided to do a gray or a black. Uh, I just went in the black and wondered what would happen. Um, oh, I know what I did, actually. I forgot. <laughs> it colored in way too black. So I took my uh, little paper towel that I had and I dabbed it. And that way it turned into more of a gray look, which I do prefer. Um, and then I went to, into more black and I signed my little signature and I um went to sign the date when I do date signs I actually um just put the month abbreviation and the year so February 2020 that was very interesting and in just a moment we will be seeing close-ups of the drawings if you wanted to see them um I I think I forgot to edit out this end bit so you see me like cleaning up but that's fine I mean maybe you wanted to see me clean up I think that that's very interesting <laughs> you see me um cleaning up my desk by putting everything back into the watercolor container <laughs> and putting it back in its little box. Alright, here's the close-ups. So this is the old one. It's 
uh, it's okay. Uh, it's definitely not the worst thing I, I created. Um, but I definitely think that the new one turned out a lot better. I do think that it turned out good. We Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoyed making it. It was very nice and fun to just sit down and relax. And watercolor is something I have not recorded the voiceover yet. So... I don't know, but, <laughs> um, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's cool, too. And also, some of my links will be in the description and listed in the end coin that will be playing now. Bye!